Well, hello, this is Adam, and welcome back to Rare Classic Cars here on a dreary December, awful, cold, 30-degree weather day in the Midwest. But wanted to share with you, I finally got my 68 LTD Brome four-door hardtop delivered. Uh, I bought this car sight unseen from Massachusetts from, I believe, the grandson of the original owner. The grandfather had passed away. And it's a super rare car. It's obviously all black, black exterior, black vinyl top, black LTD Brome interior. And it's one of only about 150 that were made in 1968 that were all black, inclusive of the interior with the LTD Brome twin comfort lounge seat buckets. So took a bit of a risk, found this car in Facebook Marketplace. A friend sent it to me, it looked really interesting and it's only got 9,900 miles. And I know some people are gonna say, oh, well, it's probably been around once. No, this car has not had the odometer flipped over and we'll go through why I can discern that. And also just talk about what I'm gonna go through to bring this car back to life. Needs some things, this is a true barn find. I think of any car that I've bought, this is probably the most barn findy, if you will, but Thankfully, no mice got into the interior or the trunk over that period of time. They did get and build a nest. It looks like a long-term nest was in the air cleaner for a while, but you know that's not a big deal. And let's talk more about the car. Take the camera off and discuss a bit more about what I found. All I've done so far since I got the car is I've conditioned the vinyl top, which has come back and looks totally brand new. And I've just vacuumed the interior lightly. I have not steam cleaned it or anything. It's below freezing here today. So I can't do much uh, until the weather gets a little bit warmer. But I'll at least talk you through what I've done, what I'm gonna do next. All right, so let's take a walk around this 9,900 mile 68 LTD Brome interior. This is the first year for this styling and the hidden headlights for the LTD. They had the stacked headlights in 67 before, and they'd continue this hidden headlight theme for a couple more model years until the 71 model year. But the first thing is that the paint, you can see it there, it's really, really hazy and oxidized on quite a few of these surfaces. Not, you know, sure, it, it wasn't stored properly, um, and consequently the paint, you know, isn't, in the best shape in terms of luster. However, I've bought a lot of cars that look like this and it's amazing what they come out looking like after you polish them. So I did just try a sample spot here with some rubbing compound and I rubbed for all of 20 seconds. And that's what I got there and there. Notice the huge difference. I mean, that's not, that is honestly 20 seconds of polishing so I'm pretty confident that a fair amount of this paint is going to come back. And the oxidization almost protects the uh, underlying paint. This car, I don't believe it ever sat outside. I just think that it probably was in a moist area with a tarp on it, which collected the moisture and trapped it a little bit. You can see at some point, somebody's buffed this car and buffed through a number of areas, but that can just be touched up. And if it looks this good after just 20 seconds of polishing, I think I got a good chance that this car is actually gonna look really good at the end of the day. The chrome also has some light pitting you can see here, but I did just polish this section of the chrome, again, with about 20 seconds worth of polishing. And look at the difference. You can see right where I stopped, right there. Polished, not polished. So this chrome is going to come back, I think, really nicely, too. I did mention that I reconditioned the vinyl top, and it looks like new. It looks great. The emblem looks perfect. This is one way you can tell it's a low-mileage car. You can't get these emblems anymore, and this emblem is not faded. It just looks absolutely beautiful. The corners of the back window, there's no bubbling, look perfect. You can see you got more haze here. And the haze kind of continues down on these surfaces too. 
but I'm pretty confident this is going to come back. I'm going to have to repaint a little area. I think this might have been spotted in at some point here. Um, you know, and there's, my guess here is there was some probably some mouse nest or animal nest that was sitting here. So I'll probably have to repaint the trunk lid, something like that. But I mean, overall, look at the wheel covers on this car. They're perfect condition. Another way to tell if the car is low mileage and you can't get these wheel covers anymore. So somebody's not looking for them on eBay and putting them on. And there's really no stone chips to speak of here on the backs of the rear wheels or the front wheels. And again, this will polish up. This is just pitted, but I've tried a test spot too. That's gonna polish up. Let's take a look inside. Another way you can tell the low mileage cars, especially the Fords, close the door. Closes beautifully. All the doors in the car open and close beautifully. I just push it with one finger back, it closes. And again, I have only vacuumed this car. That's all I've done. But look at the dash pad. Beautiful. The seat fabric just shows no wear at all. No signs of sweat or, you know, human perspiration. I need to steam clean it. Driver's seat is the exact same. Looks wonderful and new. Steering wheel is new. Usually on these steering wheels, after some mileage, this graining will wear off because of the oils in your fingers. Just dissolve it. You can see it has all the graining. There's no cracks in the wheel. This area here, we put the key in, isn't scratched. The brake pedal is just like new. On these Fords, once they get about 20, 30,000 miles, you start losing some of these ribs. They start falling off. 40,000, 50,000 mile car will have at least a couple of them missing. So this one doesn't have any missing. It doesn't have any wear. As I said, it is a brome interior. Very luxurious. The package shelf looks perfect, not faded at all. Headliner is great. I think this is called Moon Crater or Moon Something. Very unique. No wear on the driver's visor. Pretty loaded car, power windows, they all work and actually go up and down really fast, too. Power locks, they're vacuum. AM FM radio, power steering, power brakes, 390, two barrel V8. This convenience check panel, so when you put the key on, you can see it says belts and door. If I had the parking brake on, then that would illuminate or low fuel, that would illuminate. You can also see if I open these, this is just dusty, but there is no arm sweat on the armrests either. A little mildew I'm going to have to clean up. What do you expect for a car this old that sat in a barn? Let's see if I can get this one out. It's coming. There we go. Probably been, ooh, dusty. <laughs> so some cleanup work to do, but beautiful shape overall door panels perfect too no arm sweat at the top of the door panel let's take a look at the trunk this emblem is perfect so is the original dealer sticker again i tried a little area just started polishing it a little bit. This is a very hazy area in the trunk for whatever reason, but 10 seconds of polishing and, you know, I spend more time on it. It's gonna come back just fine. The trunk pan in this car is excellent, like new. 
Ford levelers will know that these trunk pans often got at least surface rust on the inside. These mats tended to attract moisture, but this one is perfect. And again, the chrome is discolored here, but this is going to polish up just like the front. So it's going to take some elbow grease. This emblem, I've got to super glue that back down. But again, the emblem itself is perfect. Final top looks great over here. Same kind of haziness on the doors. Overall, just really, really nice shape. Now I'll show under hood. Started trying to figure out what's going on under here. So it's a 390 two barrel, still has the original master cylinder. The car's got half a brake system right now, so it doesn't stop very well. I'm not driving it really more than a block or so until I fix that. This asbestos sock still looks new. Still has the Uniroyal heater hose there going into the fender. Probably have to recore the radiator from sitting so long. Still has the factory markings up here. And the headlights still say FOMOCO on them, and these headlight, the one headlight motor in the middle still works, thankfully. I'll start it up for you so you can hear it. The previous owner put Flowmasters on it. Not my favorite. I'll have to get those changed at some point. I prefer these cars quiet. But the motor sounds really good. Need some fine tuning on the tune up. The carburetor accelerator pump is dead. Somebody's moved the choke to be richer to try to compensate for that. Not as smooth as it should be, but it needs a carburetor rebuild and a tune-up. Sounds good though. All these areas down here are just completely solid, no stone pecks, just some corrosion that'll polish out. Some old tires, Broadway Classic. Motor sounds great. And the hidden headlights work, as I said. Let's see if I can open it here. There they go. Pretty sweet. So stay tuned as I start reconditioning this car. And wait till you see this paint polished out. Gotta love the sound of the Ford FEV8s. Heat is nice and toasty, that's good. Carpet looks great. Thanks again for watching, 9,979 original miles. And if you happen to have one of these air cleaners for a 68 Ford laying around, I'd like to replace this one. It had a mouse nest in it, and consequently there's some perforation on the underside in a few areas. So if you have one that's laying around, email me at rareclassiccars at yahoo.com and perhaps we can strike a deal on it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching this video on the 68 LTD Brome. Stay tuned as I go through the reconditioning of it. Hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out the video thumbnails at bottom left and right for some further suggestions for you.